So are we loving all the craziness? Yeah, hi everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls. What we're gonna do is just like how I've done for the past couple of uploads, general card reading, three different groups, choose whichever one you resonate with. For a limited time, I'm test driving live personal readings again. Those are a different price point than the standard ones that you would book through my website. So make sure that you are following my community tab on my Angel Souls YouTube channel. That's where all the instructions for that will be. If you want a live reading, I will also teach mediumship, angel mediumship. All that information is there as well. And then, of course, standard readings, angelsouls444.com. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. I want to shuffle a little bit longer here. All right. I'm nervous, too. <laughs> Maybe. Queen of Air, independent, experienced, realistic, witty, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you. That feels like the big take-home with that card. Seeing the humor in a situation. Notice how she's just holding up. Maybe it's like a crystal ball or something like that. She's just like holding it up and just observing what the heck is going down. I feel like that's where a lot of us are now. <laughs> it's just like, you know, we, you know, be prepared. Take appropriate action. Get the best information that you possibly can. But this is like, we have to let some things come to pass. And that is why spirituality is so important because you'll be in a space where you can do that, right? Uh, instead of getting involved and all shaken up with all the things that you're hearing. Then we have awakening. I'm going to be making a couple of videos. One of them is going to be on spiritual awakening and this next round of spiritual awakening we're doing. How you know if you are spiritually awakening. And also a whole video on the pineal gland. And then I will put up some meditations to help you open that. Okay. Give me a little time to do that. But <laughs> make sure you check it out when it is there. So this is Archangel Gabriel. Look at things from a different perspective. She's looking at things, right? A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. I don't want to sit here and say, this is just sitting back and just letting whatever's happened, happen. No, uh, I did hear prophecy just now. So watch what some of the prophecies are. Some of them, yeah, they seem like they're coming to fruition. So yeah, we'll be on the lookout <laughs> for that. But whatever it is, as we observe it, it cracks us open. It gets us into our awareness, whatever that means for you. Okay, like you might say, well, I focus on how... The government is doing this, this, and this, or how this is happening this way. You know, that's fine. But there's a spiritual thing going on here as well. And that, in part, is realizing we don't have to give into this surface-level narrative that has been shoved down our throats. Okay? All right. Four of Earth, being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. It's not funny. Do not... Uh, okay, just... just uh, we, we just have to do this, okay? Like, just hang on and watch what's happening. Watch how it's unfolding. And watch how people who have not had the best interest of others at heart, who've just been very self-centered and greedy, watch how that comes back on them, okay? Good business decisions. We'll see about that. Uh, giving to those less fortunate. guys. <laughs> Look at her face. Hopefully you can see it. She looks... Is she giving a side eye? She's giving side eye. She's totally giving side eye. She's got an attitude. Can you see this? Well, this isn't going to focus. It is so funny because this looks kind of like what some people might be feeling by the time you watch this. Where it's just like, we knew you were all doing that. Like, it's only a matter of time before you get caught. Okay, so this is heartbreak. This is three of air. Just because you can't see the words, let me read it. Because if I don't, someone would be like, what did it say? Great sadness. You glad I read it? <laughs> Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. I'm telling you, this has a lot more to do with the financial system, obviously. If you have not seen some of my videos that cover the 2020 to 2024 time period, make sure you go back 
and watch that. It's right on the main page of my uh, YouTube channel. But this is just like, yeah, some people might lose money, okay? Some people might be scared, you know, or just looking at the world and going, this is a hot mess. How did we even get here? But that's okay. Because I don't want to sit here and say it's it's all a process and just roll with it. But there needs to be very deep change and how we think needs to change as well. Um, we'll change who we trust. And that's not so that we get into this egotistical, defensive way of living where it's like, I know you're... You know, I know you're about to do this, this, and this. It, no, that's not what we're talking about here. Um, but it's just kind of sad that things had to break down so quickly. And there's a little bit of mourning because, like, some version of you... Oh, my gosh, this flopped right out. Uh, this is Stibni Conflict. That might be it. Feeling very conflicted on how to move forward. Um, sad for this older or this um, the other version of you that went through that narrative, right? So the pre-spiritual awakening you and the post awakened you. Now everybody has gone through some bit of growth and spiritual awakening. It typically happens in chapters, but this feels uh, maybe being conflicted because you don't know what to believe and. Sad that you fell for it. Maybe sad that you spent so much time worrying and you realize now none of that mattered. None of it mattered at all. Right? Like, we always have ourselves. We can get through any situation. But this, you know, on more of a surface level, we're going to be... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I shouldn't laugh. I want like, nervous laughter, nervous laughter. What the heck? What next? Um, mothership? Sure. I mean, but because I felt like somebody was going to ask that. Um, <laughs> sure, that's going to be happening. But uh, this is very money focused, I feel. And people strategizing and realizing like, you know, when you tap into your instincts, you knew that something was going to come crashing down right and now it's happening so this is the messy part of it this is the this whole reading is uncomfortable I mean when you've got heartbreak and conflict hello okay <laughs> now if you're wondering what this general message might mean for you specifically remember that can only be done through a personal reading angelsouls444.com those are my standard readings so those do not require any time commitment on your part you just sign up for it. I will tune in to your energy, your question, get your angelic messages. I record them on an MP3. Okay, it's a voice recording, personalized, sent to you. And that's it. And then you have your reading. Like I said, I am kind of coming back and revisiting live readings, but that is really based on availability. So don't just assume that if you're signing up for a reading, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one live. Those are a different price point. And again, based on availability. Okay. All right. Interesting. <laughs> Let's get on to group one. group one interesting times for sure oh 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 is that right <laughs> Jeez. 
you know, everyone thinks it's so magical when the cards are flying out. But when you're an aggressive shuffler or you're just not doing it right, yeah, they're going to fly everywhere. So not that great. But we'll keep that one that flew onto the table. What is it? Eight of fire. <laughs> what is it? Eight of fire. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. Um, I just heard the great colliding. The great colliding. So some of you may be very affected by the things I talk about in the general part of this video. So make sure you go back and watch that. But this could be, I don't know. I, I just, uh, the reason why I'm pausing is I got this feeling of like a lot of things suddenly ending. And there's this, again, go back and watch the general. There's this heartbreak. There's this, oh my gosh. And then all these other things start coming in behind it. So it's good. It's good, but it may not seem good at first. Okay, so I want you to be prepared for that. You know, there's going to be talks, especially in corporations, of layoffs. Oh, no, what about this, that, and the other? The other thing, I just saw, um, I think it was a TikTok. This HR person was like, oh, you know, I just had a potential candidate who did this, this, and this, and I was so excited to be, you know, meeting them and all this, and I had all these applicants, and they really stood out. Now, what this person was describing in this TikTok was someone coming and kissing her butt, kissing up to her, okay? And the fact that she was coming right out and saying, I thought that was so great, shows that we're still in this culture of the kiss up gets, <laughs> right, gets taken more seriously or whatever. Why? This person, I don't know. It's like, who's going to be the biggest kiss up? That shows who is going to be the most controllable because they're willing, right? They're willing to come in and potentially even embarrass themselves to get the job. Now, I don't know too many people who are doing that. As a matter of fact, I think it's a red flag when a company still wants a cover letter. They have outdated thinking. Because all the cover letter is, is a paragraph kissing up to them and, you know, telling them how great you are and all this stuff. Like we've, we're moving away from that. Most of us have already moved away from that. Not everybody has caught up. But as time goes on, that's, that kind of stuff is going to become less and less acceptable. Okay. So uh, if you're an HR person and you're like, <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird that you're in charge. Um, it's weird that you're the one making the decision about what candidates get through to the higher ups. If you're basing it not on skills, but the fact that they're again, kissing up, I don't know. <laughs> so like leave your comments down below, but this is that kind of thing where some of you might be out there job hunting again and, uh, you're running into that and there's this sudden awakening. Like, why are we thinking like this? This makes no sense. If you want to get to know what my personality is, ask for an interview. And then in the interview, don't ask, why do you think you're right for this job? <laughs> Didn't you get the resume? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So people are going to be standing up for themselves quite a bit. That was just coming up. All right. So then we have three of water. So it might be by you standing in your integrity and not just giving in to some of these foolish games. And that's what they are. Foolish games. Uh, you might actually get something brand new new here we go a celebration a wedding graduation or birth announcement the need to have more fun so this is good news coming in this is something to celebrate and with that eight of fire i'm telling you this might be like let me get more of the story because i just heard the ones that stick you know i felt like i needed to go down that whole like <laughs> rant about how these employers it's not even the executives it, you know, it's HR and I've worked in HR. I know how it can be. I know how the people are. Okay. And if we're just out here feeding each other's egos, uh, -uh. no, literally it's like, Hey, come be a sociopath with me. <laughs> Hi, I'm the best person for this. Let me tell you why, you know, like <laughs> that got opinions anyway, so never mind. <laughs> But maybe you have that kind of feeling with some of these opportunities that are coming at you and that helps you get to the right, in this case, job opportunity. When it comes to relationships, um, 
leave the fast movers to the other fast movers. You know what I mean? Uh, we're also coming into a time where it's like, we know our value. We know our worth. We don't need to just rush into anything. Okay. We have five of earth, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Now, this could have been some of you going off and deciding you're going to start your own business, realizing it's not that easy. Um, it differs for everybody. Again, you'd have to go get a personal reading if you want to know exactly how this will affect you. Angelsouls, 444.com. That's my standard reading. Okay, so make sure you're reading what you're getting. This five of earth just feels, it's almost like being lonesome. So it's interesting because it's like you get, you get something and then it's, uh, you're, you're maybe the new person or maybe you are dating someone and you realize you're not the only one, right? Um, feeling, I'm getting this feeling of not being wanted. So something seems really great. And you get it, and then it's like, but I don't fit in. Or again, someone someone wasn't as helpful as they said they would be. Now, I know typically people are like, oh, it just means that help us around the corner. <sighs> help in the way the game presents help. You know, you walk through these doors, you follow our rules. You believe the way we believe. So sometimes going your own way, as lonely as it can be, that's a choice. That's a choice. And at least you're not under the control of someone else. Again, make all decisions with great care. We have the Empress, Archangel Gabriel, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. It's almost as if you go off and you're like, you know what? Forget this noise. I'm not, I'm not going to pay the dues that are required in order to have this. If I don't put that much work in, I'm going to go do something I love. I'm going to go do something that ignites my creative life force that I feel good about showing up and doing every day. <laughs> right? Let's get a crystal card here as well. Yeah, really? The number, there's a number three on here. That's, you know, higher wisdom. That's, um, well, in angel numbers, we associate that with ascended masters and being connected to the divine communication uh, with the divine. So you might be getting some big inspiration and some, I don't want to say push, but some encouragement to move forward and create something. Create something new based on something old. So bringing something back. So, um, you know, like for example, on social media, it's been kind of popular for people to get on there and take recipes from like decades ago and do them and put their own spin on it. You know, it, it's that sort of thing. All right, so we have school site, peace. There's going to be a lot of activity happening for you guys. Um, and there can be a moment of this wasn't what I thought, but the Empress is telling you to be empowered. And then this is saying that way of being empowered, being in touch with the divine is to, oh my gosh, I've got a hair in my face and I don't know where it is. <laughs> anyway, hi. Uh, to remain in peace no matter what um, other people are telling you you should be scared of. What you should be concerned about. Okay? And this is saying you're going to go your own way. That's a choice. You don't have to. But even if it's in like a mentality kind of sense. Like I'm not going to be afraid when others tell me I should be afraid. I'm going to think things through and figure it out for myself. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. Let's move on to group two. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. Please remember these are still general readings. If you want a personal reading, go to angelsouls444.com. Those are my standard readings. On occasion, I will put the option out there at a different price point for, I have this hair that's like, I don't even know where it is. Anyway, <laughs> Readings that are at a, live readings, video readings that are at a different price point. Always check the community page on my Angel Souls uh, YouTube channel. That's where all the updates for that will be. Because it's only here and there that I'm going to be offering those. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Unity. Numbers five. 
everyone's going through a lot of shakeups, a lot of changes. And this is Archangel Sandalfin. So Sandalfin, if you don't know, helps us remain very grounded, helps you balance out your spiritual self, physical self. He's in charge of the Earth Star Chakra and helps us to um, not only get into an, an alignment, but to be able to really, without any interference, ego interference, to bring in divine information. All right? He's known for carrying your prayers up to heaven, you know, that sort of thing. So this says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or like-minded friends. Why does this feel like living off the grid? Um, now that might be so to speak, right? I know for me, there have been so many things going on where, you know, every time you turn around, someone's threatening like, oh, you know, we're going to change this and then you're going to have to do that. And if you don't, there are going to be consequences. And one of those is being controlled by the management company <laughs> for the building I live in. And I just had to go to the front office and they have a sign up saying, um, if you refer someone, we'll give you $800. It used to be 250 So tell me they're having a hard time getting people to live here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was very weird. So the whole reason why I'm saying that is don't be intimidated by what's being put out there. Look at what has been you know, like noticing little signs and things like, why are you having off of that much when it used to be this? You feel me? But the unity part of it is realizing that as we go through all these shifts and changes, we need to not be divided. Uh, okay, we can't. <laughs> unity, we need to be together in this. Because all of the things that are occurring, you know, it's it's a malfunctioning system. It's a meltdown of that system, right? And we have been taught to be divided, to hate one another. I have seen people on social media who just, ah, like being petty and, and, and tearing someone down and ah, like just a lot of hate, just so much hate. And it makes absolutely no sense, right? So keep that in mind. There might be something where you're, thinking is tested strength archangel ariel the number is 11 so we're going through a huge spiritual awakening and ascension period so this says great inner strength release release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion tell me that doesn't go with this <laughs> tell me so yeah like this is saying okay you need to have the strength to stand up to people who want to keep you low by keeping you hateful or, you know, stand up to people who, um, just bought my microphone, oops. Um, stand up to people that want you to always be angry, uh, defensive. They want to keep you in your pain state and keep you from healing. All right. We have the dreamer. This is a fresh start. <coughs> Pardon me. So this is Archangel Metatron, who I actually associate with the number 11. I don't know. I guess because it's strength, that's why Ariel is on here. But um, this whole ascension idea, that's Metatron, okay? A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So this is a reset, it, the number zero. It's stepping back and saying, okay, you know what? No, I see past the illusion now and not in this, you know, I'll tell you what, people with personality disorders, they really yanked onto these ideas of like... I'm so great because I see through everything. I'm great because I'm so talented and I can do whatever I want. And, you know, little little peasants over here, they have to do this, this, and this. The, the, the dreamer card here is saying, I am disconnecting in a non-egotistical way because now I see what's actually going on and I can't put my energy into it. And I will try to get my loved ones to see it too. Or at least get their feedback on it. But I'm not going to force my beliefs on anybody. Right? The High Priestess. <laughs> okay, this is number two. Archangel Haniel. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So see, this is the thing. Getting back in touch with your spirit, with your soul. Um, having a fresh start from that place. Realizing all the stuff you've been told that you want and should need and want. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? Like you can find your own happiness. And maybe it doesn't come with a whole lot of money. But it's going to come with a lot of peace. 
You know, it's, it's not, you're not playing those old games anymore. And nurturing your intuition. If you, uh, well, I don't know if I have it up by the time I first post this, but eventually it will be. Um, I'm doing a whole video on the pineal gland, which is all about your intuition, um, being able to see into other realms, that sort of thing. Okay, so we have here, oh, keep bumping my microphone. Oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we have Moonstone Cycles. Now, this is interesting because Archangel Haniel is associated with the moon and moon phases along with Gabriel. So this is definitely saying, you know, we can choose to end how we see things. We can choose to end what we allow ourselves to be made to believe. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention to your feelings. Again, high priestess here. Pay attention to what that intuition is really trying to get you to understand without mind manipulation. What does that look like? Well, um, some people in the New Age community quite love to say, I got an intuitive hit about this and therefore... I know that this is going to happen and this is going to happen. And this is a lot. It's all ego. And it's to get you freaked out so you pay the money and to get a reading. and Or they're going to take you into another realm. Yo, Ed. listen. If the mothership wants to come take you and take you back to a planet or something like that, it'll happen in good time. Is all I'm saying. But pay attention to your <laughs> intuition. Leave the ego out of it. We don't need it. No more of that. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love, and let's get on to group number three. So we have three of earth, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. This is good. This also feels like you're getting a little used. This might be like, hey, we just had a mass layoff, and we kept you because you're really good at what you do. You let us underpay you. And just out of pure fear, like we know we can manipulate you into doing the job of three people, three of earth, three people for less than what you should be making in one job, right? Um, again, you might see it as good because you're the one who got to keep your job, but let's get more information. <sighs> Working on something, getting more information. A workaround. For some of you, you're finding a workaround to some situation you have going on in your life. Ten of fire. Too much work. What did I just say? What did I just say? Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Oh. Uh, okay, listen. If you picked this group. Don't be a sucker, okay? Like, listen, I understand if you have kids and, you know, you're the one who brings in the income or whatever and you've got to hang in there, but don't let this be a permanent solution. This just, <laughs> to me, just screams like you're the one to get used, okay? You're the one who's going to get used. Um, this can also be... I don't, uh, okay, so this isn't like a water card, but the Ten of Fire, it, it's giving this feeling of people just coming in and emotionally dumping everything down. And, you know, because they didn't do their work and you're being solid and you're finding peace in whatever what is, and they aren't. So they are coming and expecting you to pick up their slack. You know what I mean? It's like the kind of person who's like, Oh, I want to see this movie. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, why don't you look up the times and uh, let me know. Get back to me. They start treating you like they're your assistant. And, and if you say, well, why don't you look up the times? I'm, I'm so stressed. How dare you even say that? Oh, my God, you're being so ridiculous. Just look it up. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, eh, you know? Uh -uh. The lovers. Y'all got a lot going on. So this is Archangel Raphael. The number is six. Now, in angel numbers, this is uh, material manifestations, taking things out of the realm of potential and making it solid, okay? <laughs> Bring it into the 3D. Intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. I feel like we need more of the story. So this is great and all, but... Oh, God. Okay, with these... 
For some of you, it could be I'm working on a partnership that is feeling heavy. It's feeling too much, you know? Let, let's get more. <laughs> Y'all got the messy pile. I mean, it's good, but it's messy, you know? Okay. Seven of water. Options. Now, listen, I'm not going to get myself in trouble, but we got the lovers and then we've got options. Now, if you're single, great. This is terrific. If you're not single, this may be like kind of feeling not knowing what to believe, where to turn. You know, the lovers could be partnership too. Like if it's more, if you picked up on this and you're looking at it more from like a prosperity standpoint, it could be like someone making promises, but they're kind of empty promises, you know? A complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. Okay, um, I'm not trying to be negative, but y'all are all over the place. Okay, that's what's going on here. <laughs> You're working too much. Um, okay, everything being in limbo, everything is just sort of fluctuating Maybe you feel like you can't be settled down and even the fluctuating choices, maybe whether it's job choices, love choices, lifestyle choices, like where to live. Um, even that is a burden. And it's like you're still just working day in and day out and just trying to make things, maintain things. But this almost feels like, I don't know, like where's the world heading? I, how am I supposed to make a decision if I don't know what's real? Like, it could be information overload. Okay, so that's Opal Joy. Do I have to get it? You're going to make me get it, huh? All right, hold on. I got to go on the floor. <laughs> uh, I'm all like strapped in here too. I have things set up in such a way that I can't even push my chair back because it would hit all kinds of other things. Anyway, here's your card. Joy. This is a very mixed kind of thing but it feels like once you know um how to relieve some of this stress let's see if I can hold it up like this once you know how to relieve some of this stress and you finally make a commitment to either yourself or to a partner you know how to move forward now you're going to open your joy but there's going to be a little bit of a process there's something that needs to be worked on why is this giving couples therapy I don't I don't know <laughs> What it is, is whether it's, you know, whatever area of life this is pertaining to, something needs to be released. You got to work on it and getting real and being honest about, okay, this is my part in it. Okay, you know what? I was so indecisive for so long. Now the opportunity is gone. Okay, I can accept that. Uh, but that joy card, that's nice because that means you do work it out. You find your way, but please be prepared. It's going to be messy. If you're somebody who expects everything just to go your way all the time, this ain't it. Okay, great. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I am sending you all so much love and take care.